everybody Anne here sitting on my porch having my coffee with all you puppies playing at my feet here look at this is what I get awake up to every morning <laughs> look at these things they're just so cute and Papa yeah he's starting to warm up to them just a tiny bit but not very much no don't chew on my boots guys don't chew on my boots oh junior funny it rained all night last night, but yesterday it was really sunny and nice, but I did some stuff indoors, so I'm going to show you that right now, and don't laugh, okay? Promise me, promise me you're not going to laugh. you got to promise. Stop right now. Say, Anne, I promise. I won't laugh. All right, you guys. I had to take this shelf down. Oh, oh, I forgot to tell you. I got another shelf put up. Yay, I just did that. So I was wanting to do something with this lower shelf, and I decided I couldn't do it with it still on the wall, so let me show you what I'm doing. There's the shelf. Yeah, it was on the wall. And I wanted to make a little drop leaf thing, but I didn't know how to do it. I swear, I've been working at this for like two hours, but I finally figured it out. Um, Miss Donna B, who also gave me the wood and these brackets. Oh, hold on, puppy. Also sent me these little hinges, and she had sent me some big ones. Oh, where are they? Oh, oh, here. Some big ones that are so cool looking, and I thought, oh gosh, I wish I could implement them. But this part's too big. I couldn't do it with those. But these work perfect. So um, I had to take this off the wall to get this part and this part on it. And, um, well, look. Here, let me show you. It opens and closes perfectly. So now I just need to figure out a way to get it to stay up without having to put legs on it. So I found this wood. I'm gonna think I think I'm gonna try and do those little turny thingies, but I'm not sure how to do it, so hopefully I'll figure it out. And you guys, this is so funny. The first time I put the hinges on, I put them on upside down and on, on the wrong side. So I had to undo it. Um but I'm learning. I don't know how to do this stuff. I just learn by trial and error. So let me figure out these little dowel things, whatever they are. Yeah, I just cut this piece of wood with my bow saw. I can't be bothered to sand it down. One thing I do know is I don't need to put the screw right there, yeah? So I think I need to find the right size screw to put here and here, but that won't go through this wood but will allow these to turn so that when the desk is down, they're like this, and then hopefully they'll hold it up. Gosh, I don't know how to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway. I don't know. What do you think? What do you think, guys? I mean, they turn. They turn, <laughs> and um, I don't think they're through the other side. Hopefully the screws didn't come through. Tried to find the right size screw. Uh, well, let me just turn this over and see how it functions. Okay, I turned it over, and I can't, I couldn't show you because I, I would need to use two hands to hold it. But this, you see how that gives a little bit? That gives just a little bit too much, so I think I just need to tighten these up just a little bit. I've got this on my lap now, and I've tightened the screws as far as they will tighten. Nope, they have not gone through, but it's still, there's still a little bit of give. Maybe... I don't know, maybe I needed to put, oh puppy, I'll be out in a minute. Um, maybe I meet, needed to make those things longer. Kind of makes me wish I had not cut that piece of wood. Um, you know what, I'm going to keep experimenting with this throughout the day and see if I can actually get it up. But it would be nice to kind of have like a drop leaf thing without having to put legs on it um, underneath. I may need to do that. Um, I don't know. Just going to have to think about this. All right, I fixed it. See that? It's on my lap. It's not giving it all. You guys are going to laugh at what I did, but, you know, my motto is keep it simple. Okay, what I did, <laughs> I just I just put another screw right here, but didn't drill it all the way in. Whoops, can you see that? Let's focus, focus. And so when I put the leaf up, I have to put the little things on top of it. <laughs> Look at that. And that, uh, that holds it perfect. I mean, you're not going to be able to put a lot of weight on this, but um, you could, you know, eat on it to have a meal and whatnot. And then when you're done, just turn it that way, and it will drop down. All right, I need to get this on the wall. Oh, my gosh. I finally did it. I did it. It's a mess in here again. I had to use some of this wood to prop this up in a 2 by 4 Oh, I still got the 2 by 4 underneath of there. But I did it! It is done! And 
you know what? It's not very stable. You know what I could do? I could always get some little chains, you know, and hook them up just to kind of make this. But I just wanted to see if I could do it, you know, and I did it. So, you know, whatever. Um, here, let me just take these off their little thingies and see what it looks like with it drop down. Oh, that doesn't look so good. Does it? I don't like it. Ah, ha, ha. All right. Well, whatever. I made a thing. You know what? It's not so bad. You know what? I think to get that ugly part when you fold it down. Here, let me show you what I'm talking about again. I, I know you know what I'm talking about. But, uh, <laughs> see that? How that kind of looks sort of not good. Um, I know it doesn't matter, but I actually could make these things longer, you know, and fill more of this space, and it'll give it more support. But for now, it's okay, and that little chair over there fits perfectly underneath of it, so I could sit and do whatever I got to do. But, you know what? For somebody who doesn't know how to build things, <laughs> which is me, um, not too bad. Now all I need to do is get one more shelf up right above this. This one I put up a little bit higher, and I will trim it with the the uh, little tree limbs. I'm not going to do that with this one. I'll probably just stain this whole thing kind of like that color. But I think I'm going to put one more shelf up here, and that's going to be it for this wall. Look at I got all my junky stuff up there. So what do you think? Well, you know what, I did it. And I think I am gonna get some chains or maybe I have some around here somewhere. I know I got some little hooks that you can, you know, hook things into um, and just to give it some extra support while the leaf is down. I didn't get the other shelf put up, but I'm gonna try and do that today. Today's gonna be kind of a busy day. Um, I've already got some eggs on boiling to make some pickled eggs and I'm also gonna make some sauerkraut. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll show you that. I'll show you that in a little bit. Looks like the eggs are done. Time to drain them and cool them off. Just going to use a little water from my ice chest. I got them peeled. Took me a little bit, but uh, putting the olive oil in the water, like Lori suggested, has really been working. I got ten in there. I ate one because it wasn't suitable for, um, you know, pickling. And this one has a flaw in it that goes all the way down to the yolk. So I'm going to feed that to the roosters. And now for the brine. I'm going to do it a little bit different. See that there? Yes, I bought another one of these big old jars of pickles. I don't know if I'll eat all the pickles, but I do love the jar. And I do love the brine, so I'm going to incorporate a little bit of this pickle juice into my pickled eggs. I'm adding one cup pickle juice. Oops, I meant two cups pickle juice. One cup apple cider vinegar. One tablespoon sea salt. One tablespoon sugar. About a teaspoon of dehydrated garlic. One half teaspoon turmeric. We're just gonna stir this up and bring it to a boil. And I may simmer this for a little while because I want that garlic to rehydrate. As for the rest, I'm just gonna put it directly in the jar. I got out of my garden some fresh garlic chives. Just snipped them up over the jar and put them down in there. Next, I'm just gonna snip up the rest of these, um, they call them walking onions, just the tops, and put them down in there too. Next, I'm going to put in a couple dehydrated cayenne peppers from my garden, and I'm just going to shove them down in there. See that? Just like that. I kind of impaled one of the eggs, but I think it'll be okay. These aren't going to sit for too long, because they are going to be delicious. <laughs> you can't see this. Yeah, I turned off the heat. I'm just going to let it sit for a little while and cool before I add it to the jar. If you ever want to know what chia seeds turn out to when they grow up to be big adults, they flower like this. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh my gosh. I didn't know they had these pretty purple flowers. So pretty. I think this is cool enough. So what I'm going to do is use that little cup there and pour it into there for the most part. And then I'm going to scoop out some of this garlic that's in there to make sure it gets into the jar. And I don't know if I'll have any leftover brine, but if I do, I'm definitely saving it. There we go. Just a few more times. Oh, I got a little bit of garlic in there. All filled up. I'm just going to wipe the rim off and put the lid on. And I'm not canning these. I did fill it up almost all the way to the top. 
And then I'm just going to let this sit out in the cool weather for a little bit before I put it in the ice chest. And I'm going to let it wait at least 48 hours until I taste the first one, maybe longer. I don't know. I just love pickled eggs so much. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? I can't wait to taste these. I really just can't. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of the brine, but I'm sure I'll find something. I haven't started the sauerkraut yet. I will probably do that a little bit later. Ah, oh, you've seen me do sauerkraut before. I'll show you the after effect because it's going to be lovely. Anyhow, it's like 12.30 and I'm still in my jammies. <laughs> I got to tell you, my life, mm, it doesn't suck. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.